Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Mixed Media Monday. I am Ophelia and thank you guys so very much for joining me today. Um, today I thought I would do something a little bit different and I think I wanted to call this um, like painting and playing with unconventional objects. Yep, that's what we're gonna call it, unconventional objects. And by that, I mean um, some of the supplies that I have, I've never really used before, but I thought I would just kind of freshen things up. And I, I feel as though um, I've been in like a creative rut per se. And I just thought if I changed up some of the supplies that I used, um, it might spark a little bit of creativity or a little bit more creative juice. So um, today I'm going to get into what we're going to be using and it may seem like a whole lot. Um, but I was getting my daughter a birthday gift for a party and I found this um, tissue paper. And I thought, well, now this would be kind of neat because what I want is something that's going to be a little bit graphic. And so um, I took some black paint and I created just some um, random marks with my brush all over the um, tissue paper, which we will rip up and use as collage in just a little bit. And while I was on that same store aisle, I found this one that's literally already printed with some nice, that makes you dizzy, some nice graphic marks that I want to kind of rip up and use as well. So this is one thing that I think I'm gonna wrestle and try to use in my sketchbook. Um, speaking of sketchbook, I thought I would also change things up a little bit. And I am working, instead of my spiral bound, I'm gonna work in this, it's a Strathmore um, dirty, Strathmore visual journal, and this one is the drawing format. Um, so I thought it would be a little bit fun to switch things up instead of my usual wire bound one. This will be helpful in that I can completely work across the page. So I thought it would be fun to switch up my journals while I'm switching up supplies as well. Um, I also tried my hand at stamp carving and um, I didn't bring all of the tools and supplies with me. What I know is that A, I'm learning and um, I, I was a bit afraid to use the materials like the little cutting blade just because I've heard horror stories about it. So I'd, I I was almost afraid to even do a lot of things. So I did at least um, waste a whole lot of whatever the carving material is to just get these two. So I brought those along to play with. Um, this one I've had for forever because a friend of mine gave it to me. So I'm, I brought this along where I did this image where I just painted this black and stamped it here to rip up and use. Um, so that's why this one came along. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Whew. Thing is out of control. So I've got some stamps, but as I was struggling to um, carve these out, again, like I said, I was a pretty afraid to use the cutting tools because I didn't want to take my hand off. Um, I started thinking about things that I might have had around the house that I could use to kind of serve the same purpose. And so I found um, a little half pan, and this is just one of the empty half pans that you would usually fill um, watercolor pans with. So I have that. Um, I've got these little, I think they use them for like ketchup in restaurants or sauce cups and such like that. So I brought that along, a cap that you would put on, or that used to be, I guess, like on shaving cream. So I brought that along. Um, the cap for my spray bottle. I'm gonna use that. This was like some type of lid for a container that I have. And um, in one of the other episodes, I used this container or this cap came off of the golden high flow um, paints. So I had that left over to use. Um, and then just the usual variety of paints that I have in this palette is too giant to move. So Trust me when I say it's acrylic paints in my usual colors and all of the supplies that we're using are going to be linked down below. Um, but I'm just using my regular um, Lucas acrylic paints to do this spread. Some washi tape that I found that I thought 
would be pretty cool. And this is just, you can literally pick this up at like Staples and such like that, office supply stores and such like that. So I thought these would be kind of fun to use. Um, and, oh, can't forget some acrylic paint pens that I may end up using. I did just grab a variety of colors. Some of them will probably make an appearance, others may not. And then some acrylic inks in just a variety of colors. Um, I don't know, just again, I've not really played around with these Amsterdam ones before, so I want to give those a try. And of course, my trusty Jumbo Jet Black Pencil. I don't think any episode would ever be complete without one of without using this. So this may make an appearance, and um, I think that's it. If you have questions for us, just leave those in the comments and um, grab your supplies or just sit back and relax and let's create this page. And I'm gonna stop picking with it because sometimes I keep going and I keep going and I go too far. So I'm just gonna stop and dry it up and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so now that this is all dried up, I think I'm gonna go in with some of, um, gosh, this is a, I'm gonna put, let's put this away because it's a little bit angry. Um, I think I'm gonna use some of my Man, I thought I had a cool word. My um, handmade ephemera. I made it myself. Uh -huh. And I'm just going to kind of rip out parts. Oh, let's do it this way. And I'm gonna put that there. Okay, this is good. And I'm just using um, matte medium, just the regular Jerry Studio matte medium and varnish. I just had to put mine in a ketchup bottle squeeze thing because I broke my big bottle. Now I'm sad. Uh, huh, uh, let's get a different cleaner brush. And just gonna glue. Okay, that's a bit much matte medium, but it's okay because I'm gonna put some of this over here and. Some of this, some of this will be covered up and um, it doesn't even bother me that the tissue paper kind of wrinkles because I like that part when it adds texture and such or to add texture. Um, let's see what else I can use. Glue it down, Ophelia. What, what are we fretting over here? Just glue it down. And uh, see, I almost forgot that now I can literally work across the page. I'm not really used to doing that. And I kind of like using this tissue paper 
because it melts into the background and kind of becomes an instant part of the page. Okay, I've got to move this because... Oh, wait, I want to use this. Ming, I'm sorry, you're making me nervous. And when I'm nervous, I'm... I get sweaty. Paper starts ripping. I'm sorry. I legit just got nervous like this is our first day. Whew. Okay, maybe too much paper here. I'm, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna put it away. <sighs> like I've never done this before. <sighs> control, get a, get some control. Got it. Put the cap back on. Okay. Put this away. I'm gonna dry this up really quickly because now I think I want to use some of my stamps.
Okay, guys, I hope that you enjoyed watching me play in an, in an unconventional manner in my journal. Um, I just thought it would be a little, a little more fun to change things up and um, just break out of the same old rut of like paint and glue down something. And, but I just wanted to kind of go wild and have a little bit of fun. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I certainly hope that you will all play along. Um, grab your supplies and when you do, make sure that you use the hashtag at Jerry's Artorama. That's not a hashtag. That's at Jerry's Artorama as well as at Ophelia's Art Studio on Instagram using the hashtag Mixed Media Monday Challenge. Thank you guys so very much for joining us today and um, I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey everybody, welcome back. That's dumb. Okay, start over. Time out. Start. Because, hey everybody, what do I always say? No, I thought I said something else. Are the lights brighter today or I just can't see anything? I can't, I really can't see anything. Well, I think I say, hey everyone, not everybody, because everybody, like, what? Hey. Okay. <laughs>